If Islam is a religion of peace, why do Muslims have such a violent jihad? We get this question a lot, usually after someone blows himself up while yelling jihad or Allah Ho Akbar. So it's understandable that there's this misconception out there that jihad is associated with violence. What if I told you you're committing jihad just talking to me? Or maybe you committed jihad on the way to work today or in class last week. You may have even committed jihad just trying to get out of bed this morning. Jihad, as you may have guessed, is as benign as trying to pass a difficult exam or getting to work on time. Jihad is simply the Arabic word for struggle. But jihad is violence, you might protest. In actuality, true Islam rejects a jihad that resorts to violence. In true Islam, war and fighting is only permissible when someone is physically attacking a people's freedom of conscience. Per the Quran, Islam's holy book, killing an innocent person is like killing all of mankind. And on top of that, it teaches that persecution is worse than murder. Islam's most important jihad is the ongoing struggle to reform oneself and spread peace amongst each other, regardless of race, faith, or color. This struggle is a jihad of the pen. We need more people to battle these false teachings, peacefully through rational dialogue, education, and writing the narrative on true Islam. After all, the victory of Islam won't happen through annihilation and hate, but through winning the hearts. Come on over and join the conversation at trueislam.com.